Okay guys, a uh, quick update here. I want to show my embedded system progress, just give a little report. And here's my uh, Ubuntu desktop going on. We'll pan over here. Um, this is the Panda board and I'll try to give a quick rundown here. Here we have the um, HDMI cable out to the monitor and I've got two um, See if we can focus there. There we go. I have two USB out ports on the Panda board. Uh, the Panda board, um, just for reference, is uh, 1.2 gigahertz clock speed, dual core, ARM Cortex A9, could be A10 uh, processor, and I believe it has 5, 12 uh, megs of RAM, and. And the daggum thing won't focus, sorry about that. Uh, here we have the hard drive, which is the operating system and everything on the SD card. It is an 8 gigabyte SanDisk uh, with a 30 megabit per second um, read-write speed. So that's, that's pretty quick. Um, that one was, let's see, I got that at Best Buy. And um, the better ones are the Extreme Pros, which have up to a 95 uh, megabits per second read-write speed which is even better and more stable. I was beginning with, um, just, to, just to go on a tangent here, I started with um, these guys. I'll put this here and this one here. And this is a micro uh, SD card. Uh, and here's my adapter. And the read-write speed was not nearly as good on this. Uh, and I used this because I had a Beagle board in the past and the Beagle board takes the micros. I kind of think that's a little nicer because you don't have this huge overhang here, but, you know, whatever. Whatever works. Um, this is an awesome board, and I really like it. So, anyway. Um, onboard Wi-Fi, onboard Bluetooth. Uh, although some people have had difficulty getting the onboard Bluetooth to work uh, because of the Linux kernel 3.0 issues, something like that. And so my solution, which I have gotten to work, is this little uh, Bluetooth dongle. Um, that works on my Ubuntu desktop, and it works via the next item, up for bids, uh, the pluggable USB 10 port hub. I have this externally powered, um, and I'm not even going to show you the mess that is, you know, the mess of cable. Okay, fine. Um, it's externally powered down there with all my other stuff. Um, and uh, I can plug this guy in to the USB port, although I'm not interested in doing that now, maybe later, uh, and the Panda board actually recognizes it. So I was really jazzed about that. It did, running Ubuntu, it just automatically recognizes it. So that's really cool. So here we go. We're going to power up. I've got my, my monitor on, and um, I haven't had a lot of luck with the two reset buttons here uh, with the power off, you know, blah, blah, blah. So I just do the hard connection. And this is just a standard barrel jack. Um, I'm operating at 4.5 volts because that is the only setting that will work. Um, given that this is an aftermarket Radio Shack um, uh, adapter, because there are several different settings, and the next one up is 6 volts, and I don't really want to fry my board. So you can do some uh, calculations and figure out that I'm not really running at a full 1.2 gigahertz because I have a lower voltage. Um, but anyway, that's, that's another story. At this point, I'm just happy that everything halfway works together. So, man, I cannot get this to focus for anything. I apologize. Let me see here. Let's see. But, uh, anyway, there is our happy Ubuntu. There we go. Um, so hopefully that'll boot up pretty quick. It doesn't really take uh, too awful long. Okay, so there we have the, um, standard stuff. Login screen. I mean, that's all solid state. It's all right there on the SD card. And there we go. That's up. So, man, I am very disappointed in my camera right now because I have all of this. I've been talking this whole time and I can't, can't get this stupid thing to focus for anything. So anyway, there, okay, maybe, maybe that'll work. All right, and so I am connected to the local Wi-Fi network um, on the Panda board, and that's it. And my uh, USB keyboard and USB mouse, 
and so yeah and that's and it's ready to go so what I am going to do now is we're gonna pop over to the desktop which is also here's my desktop which is also connected to the Wi-Fi network and we're gonna open a terminal so I'm gonna click here on this terminal here and I'm gonna open a new one just like that zoom in here for you and maybe I'll do a screen capture here sometime soon but okay so I'm going to CD to my root directory darn it and of course that didn't work and I'm gonna go through here see I'm going to connect via secure shell protocol SSH to that user R2D2 at the IP address which is the panda board so I go ahead and I hit that and it asked me for a password so that means that there has been a uh, send and receive socket whatever you want to call it um, transmit receive um, wireless packet uh, uh, network connection over wireless uh, protocols I TCP IP protocols um, so now I do that type in my password and now I'm in so as you can see the prompt there has changed I'm now R2D2 at R2D2 user at uh, computer and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go X 1 1 V and C uh, X11 is the X windowing system um, for those watching who are not uh, familiar with Linux um, Linux the the graphical um, desktop pretty much anything anything any windowing system well there, there are actually several but by and large the majority um, it seems to me uh, given my knowledge um, which is of course limited but after having dabbled in Lin Linux for six seven years now um, I have a working knowledge of uh, what is out there X11 is the base windowing system on top of which uh, GNOME and KDE or GNOME uh, whatever you want to call it is built um, so now I type in my X11 VNC VNC is virtual network computing um, I believe again according to my knowledge um, and that allows me to remotely view the desktop so now I'm going to start that service on the panda board and there we go so now again that's all running over a Wi-Fi connection on this board through the router uh, to here. Just want to make that clear. Uh, and for, you know, because there are some people watching, because this is for a mechanical project, um, some people who are much more familiar with the mechanical side of things than I am uh, may not be as familiar with the computing side of things. And for those of you who are doing the computing end of things, this is, you're, you're probably yawning right now. But anyway, um, so now I'm going to go over to a different terminal and I'm going to select that terminal and I'm going to do my viewer so up top here is my little viewer do 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 nice compact easy to use 192.168.1.125 that's my uh, uh, notice I'm typing in the address that is right up here well we saw it earlier um, you can go back in the video and watch so now enter and come on come on oop crud hold it nope Screwed up. Okay, 192.168.1.125, and hopefully, please, there we go. All right. Voila. Oh yeah. Hoorah. And now I am looking at my other desktop. And so I'm going to see. So you can see the the cursor there. So there's the cursor. So I'm moving that with. Uh, this guy here and again I know this is old hat for some of the CS people because you know this is IT stuff but you know for some of the more mechanical folks um, maybe they haven't seen this before and so now see I'm I'm manipulating the panda board from uh, from my desktop um, so now I'm going to do something like a like a uh, a um, can't even think of what's going on my brain is lagging because I haven't had enough coffee already and as you can see here I so I started a terminal 
So I'm going to start like an inner loop, if you, if you will, a, a service within a service. And here I'm going to, nope, I don't want my X11 BNC. I want, um, okay, this is something really cool. I'll just hit, hit this as an aside. I found a way to check the temperature of the Panda board, which is inside the, uh, oops, darn it. There we go. So I'm going to output temp one sensor. And that stands for 55.4 degrees Celsius. So not too bad, a little warm for my taste, but um, not too bad. I've had it up past 60 degrees Celsius before. Anyway, and so um, another one now that we're gonna do is, here we go. I have installed FreeNet, um, which is the FreeConnect, the Open Connect. Um, platform for the Panda board, I've, for Ubuntu rather, for Linux. I've installed that on my Panda board and over there is my Kinect uh, with a blinking green light and so now as you can see here, here's this is my desktop again, this is the Panda board and here we go. And of course I screwed up so I'm going to have to do an LS mod and I know what this is because I have solved it before. G P G S P C A. Do that. And I think, let's see, there we go. Move that one. So I'm going to have to remove some modules here, is all. Oh, crap. Do the password. There's that. Darn it. All right, done. And now, and that's done. Now, I can go back and I can actually start. And see, I'm holding the camera. <laughs> that's just cool. I am so happy. So anyway, um, yeah, that, that just, yeah, that's cool. So there's the back end of everything. The, the Kinect is on, and this is the Panda board. And over here, I'm viewing it remotely over Wi-Fi. And as you can see, it's a lot, well, there's some lag, you know, and there, there's lag anyway. Uh, but look at that, infrared. Hey, what do you know? Hmm. So that's kind of cool. See, there I am, and I'm adjust it's adjusting, so that, that gives you an idea of how um, how much lag, you know, there is just with the standard drivers, you know, with that, without running any optimal, I mean, optimization programs on the frame rates or anything. This is me just, just getting it set up. I haven't even begun to tinker with, you know, what's under the hood in terms of software yet. So that is pretty much everything. Um, that's everything up to this point. The next step is to actually, um, get the uh get this guy working this is a wireless um wireless uh d-link web uh ip camera and i want to hook that up to the panda board um for other reasons and you may say well you know you've got a you've got the connect already but i want to do actually a network of ip cameras on the uh on the panda board and um as time progresses i will show you why so at least that's that's my little little theory, little project that's going on here. So I really hope you enjoyed it, and um, if you have any comments or questions, I would love to hear about it. And thank you very much for watching. Have an awesome day.